Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening, a night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture under the floodlights, traffic and transport round here, not the kindest, but regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. Well, you've got to say the Nerazzurri certainly know how to create an atmosphere. 80,000 here in black and blue. The dress code is a strict one. It is a monster matchup, Jim Beglin. Well, with nothing resting on this, Peter, I'm hoping that there'll be more impetus for the players to just enjoy the game with, with the pressure off, try out a few different things, and we get something open and free-flowing. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. That gets things running. Bastoni. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, this guy, Gabriel Martinelli, is someone whose game has come on and leaps. He's got tall. That was superb goalkeeping. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. And we have our very first corner. of a better way to have started this game. Talk about how to stamp your authority on things. You've just seen it. Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, at one stage, he was being body-checked, Peter, and then the next minute, it's in the back of the net. That's wonderful striking. Arsenal didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Martinelli, spread out to the left, played back in. Sommer deals with it effortlessly. Di Marco. And Bastoni. Barella. That's so good and so often seen nowadays. Don't give them time to think on the ball. He has found the way through. And that interception was most necessary. Dumfries with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. Well, you can't grumble when a player at least tries to make something happen. Inter Milan are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Merino looking for the run. That's just playing it safe and simple. That is good strength. Barella. And it's Mkhitaryan. Oh, Super Bowl has a goal! Sticks it away! And they're at it again in double 
quick time. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. No other outcome there. That was bang in the corner. Unstoppable. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Well, that defending is unapologetically persistent. It's almost personal, and it had to be. Chalhanolu. Rice. Oh, that's a key interception. Mkhitaryan. That looks a cracking ball. Havertz. And smartly reclaimed. He's under a lot of pressure there. Chalhanolu. Turam. Mkhitaryan. He's found the way through. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Well, the first goal came from this. Header! Harmlessly behind. Merino. Nicely weighted ball. Decent progress down the left. Trossard's cross. Sommer has that under control. Bastoni. Into Milan, heading towards the half-time break. The win very much in their sails. And it's Chalhanolu. Now it's Martinez. Out to the left it goes. Mkhitaryan. Saka. For Merino. They want to be quick here. It's breakaway time. Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh, shooting chance! Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling and fast. Switched it over to the other side. Chalhanolu. Martinelli. Over to the left. Now it's Trossard. Sommer is there to take. And there is the half-time whistle. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Inter Milan sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. That's a good ball played into space. Oh, that's nice. Now then, the ball's come loose. Martinelli. Now the finish! Mkhitaryan. Martinez. 
looking understandably energised after his goal. White. Havertz. Barella proves too strong. Martinez. Mukitarian. Decent hit! Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. Three nil, and things are starting to look awfully cosy. Gabriel spots it and intercepts. Aimed beyond the defence. He's got away. Aimed in towards the centre. And he's taking no chances there. Di Marco. And here's Mkhitaryan. Now it's Chelhanolu, and he's managed to get free. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Now it's Tura, in with the challenge. Gabriel, defending his corner stubbornly, stood up very well to his man. That's good running with the ball. Chelhanolu was in no mood for any of that. Noted through. Timber. Inter really have found that they're getting more space out wide, and I can see now there's a lot of activity developing in that area, Peter. Yeah, it's busy in there, isn't it? Yeah, the what? Tries a shot! There it is! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. Well, obviously, some sections of the crowd would disagree, but that was the right decision, albeit a late one. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Arsenal can now introduce the first of their substitutes. Well, he's going to can inject a nice bit of pace into that front line, Peter, so I can see him making those runs in behind. Reds one in, Turan has it in a wide position. That is ended up in no man's land. They've managed to get it away. And it's Mkhitaryan. And that's a good ball. Rice. Merino. Saka. Rice. He's shifting through the game. He's got the shot away. He scores. So, is this the start of a comeback? Just eases him off the ball. Fiddles it through. Merino! And that has been slung wide. Mkhitaryan. 
to Barella. Into Milan, clearly now in lead preservation mode. Dumfries. No, that's been intercepted. Gabriel Jesus. Can he spark a counter here? Great canny finish! They've done it! With so little time left, grandstand finish! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Arsenal give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Well, the mindset has changed. Now they need to find all the courage they can get. Ci saranno tre minuti di recupero. And he's gone searching crossfield. Dumfries. Looking for options for movement. Dumfries does well to get it back. And he's only too grateful to capitalise on the keeper's misfortune. Yeah, his instinct told him that the keeper would struggle to cope with that, so top marks for him following up. I think um, it's really sharp play, it was well read, and he was a little quicker than everybody else. So that's it, it is all over. Perhaps not quite utopia, not what was entirely desired, but most importantly, they have the result that was of paramount importance, good enough in the eyes of their people. Mkhitaryan, voted man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Inter certainly ran a perfect race from start to finish. Out of the blocks quickly, they got themselves in front, and they just didn't look back. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.